with that Columbia OTC, I'd like to wish you all a very successful two weeks on orbit, and with that, uh, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Roger, thanks, Randy, and uh, initiating O2 flow. Okay, everybody, cabs in, visors down, pseudo two on. Better start, start with the shake of your life here. Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This is Space Shuttle Atlantis Launch Control. The countdown for the launch of Atlantis on Space Shuttle Mission STS-71 is continuing on schedule today. The launch of Atlantis will mark a number of historic milestones involving the U.S. activities in space, which include the 100th U.S. human space launch, which dates back to the first one occurring on Alan Shepard's 15-minute flight 34 years ago. 
The window for our launch of Atlantis today opens at 4.43 p.m. Eastern Time and lasts for about 10 minutes. Work at Launch Pad 39A as well as operations here in Firing Room 1 of the Launch Control Center is continuing on schedule. We anticipate an on-time liftoff of Shuttle Atlantis and the seven-member crew from KSC in just about six hours. Situated in Atlantis Payload Bay is the orbiter docking system which will allow Atlantis to dock for the first time with the Mir space station. Also in the payload bay is the Space Lab Long Module which is connected by tunnel to the docking system and the orbiter crew compartment. In preparation for this flight, the orbiter docking system was installed into Atlantis payload bay while the vehicle was still in the orbiter processing facility. Atlantis was rolled out of OPF Bay 2 on April the 20th and made it to the external tank and solid rocket booster in the vehicle assembly building. The shuttle stack was then transported to pad 39A on April 26th. Atlantis last flew in November 1994. Atlantis will carry into orbit a seven-member crew consisting of five U.S. astronauts and two Russian cosmonauts, which are designated as the, Mir, as the space station Mir-19 crew. The two Mir-19 crewmen will remain on the Russian space station, changing places with the Mir-18 crew, who will return to Earth aboard Atlantis. The Mir-18 crew, which includes astronaut Dr. Norm Thagard, has been aboard Mir since March the 16th. The STS-71 crew includes Commander Robert Hoot Gibson, Pilot Charles Precourt, and three mission specialists, Ellen Baker, Greg Harbaugh, and Bonnie Dunn.